Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it passed two months, almost two months. Um, yeah, the business of the image stopped a little bit and I um, enjoyed the time to prepare a lot of stuff for my cameras and for my rental options. In this case, I am removing the prototype that allows me to put EOS lenses on the Aria Alexa. It was composed by a um, mobile flex adapter to um, do macro photography, you could uh, invert the, the lens mount, connect it to a Metabone speed booster. It um, was powered with a um, power bank, allows me to control the aperture of the lenses. And of course, to use EOS Canon glass with active mount. In this case, I needed to control aperture. And in this case, I'm removing the mobile flex adapter from my Ahi Alexa 4 3rd. This is the camera that does high speed, raw, anamorphic mode, all that mambo jumbo that we like. And now I am uh, removing the, the ring that support the mobile flex adapter. Um, if this video has a lot of views, I can do another video explain how, do you, how did I do this adapter and uh, how it works. I'm removing it because now I have the PL mount kit of Iron Glass. It's amazing. It's really um, uh, sweet. It's uh, five lenses. It's like a 20, 37, 58, 85 and 135. And now was the time to install, put back the all the PL mounts on my Red Dragon, Arhi Alexa and Red One. This video is uh, just showing a little bit the opposite is how to put back the original PL mount. As you can see, um, you are watching the, the Alexa big sensor and now I'm reconnecting the this little tiny plug to the to the socket. This is the, the cable that provides power to the PL mount and uh, why in hell do you need power in the PL mount? Because you need to uh, gain access to the LDS readings of some lenses. In this case, uh, these lenses can read uh, the focal distance, the focus point and um, the, the aperture and uh, also making, making some calculations of deeper field. It's a little bit tricky, the cable, um, but that's okay. It's a little bit of work and uh, nothing more. We have to be careful because it's a, a, a nice flat cable that can easily break. I don't think that is the case because it's a very strong mount. And for now, I'm just putting back all the screws on the original PL mount. Of course, they don't uh, fall off because they are inside of the mount. And I am putting back all, I think it's seven screws. Um, as you can see, it's a lovely camera. Uh, of course, it's not when I'm doing some movies or some work all by myself, it's not my first choice because this is a heavy camera. Of course, it has a great image, but it's a heavy camera. So in most of the case, I prefer the, the Red Dragon because here in Portugal, we have a very strong sunlight um, and the Red Dragon can handle much, much more better the, the highlights than the, the Alexa. The Alexa has a very smooth image, a very deep clean blacks. Uh, of course it, it depends on the project because uh, I have several cameras and I don't say this is better for the Dragon, the Dragon is better than the Alexa. It depends on the kind of the project that you are working on but there are some strongs and some weakness. I think 
this camera a real Alexa as a much better deep clean blacks very very clean and now you are watching me installing the um, the lens the the iron glass mods it's the 37 they are really amazing great image quality very strong construction even the the rings to do the iris and the focus they are really amazing and today it was me showing you how to install the PL mount back on the real Alexa and to attach the um, the iron glass 37 millimeters lenses uh, I really recommend either the camera or the lenses um, and I hope that you enjoy this video please if you haven't subscribed please help me to support my channel subscribe the channel give it thumbs up and see you on my next video bye 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 bye